Good morning, ma'am. I'm Aili CJ Marie Begumwad from BSN2 Block 3 Group A. And today, I'm going to demonstrate about the newborn screening test. For a short intro, basically, after the regents and queens maneuver or the delivery of the baby and the placenta, the unang yakap or the first embrace between the mother and the newborn, the cutting of the cord, the anthropometric measurements in infant. This one is the last newborn care that we need to do before we release the mother and the infant. So we do this procedure to detect early genetic disorders like the glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency, congenital hypothyroidism, cystic fibrosis, galactosemia, amino acid disorders, hemoglobin disorders, and so on. So let's begin. So first, let's greet and introduce ourselves to the guardian of the newborn. Identify and explain the procedure. Good morning, ma'am. I'm Ailee J. Moribi Gumwad, your nurse. And may I know your name and your age as well as the name of your newborn? Thank you. Ang ganda naman po ng pangalan ng inyong anak, ma'am. And today, I'm going to do a screening test on your baby. I'm going to get a blood specimen on the sole of the foot of your baby. Is it okay with you, ma'am? Thank you. Next is secure a consent to protect the client and the nurse, provide the privacy, and gather the equipment needed. So we have here the To get it started, we need to make sure to complete all the information on the demographic portion of the collection kit. It is very important that all information is correct and can easily read. And then position the infant's feet below his or her heart to increase the blood flow. And make sure to check the identity of the infant before we start. And then warm the heel of the infant. We can use the alternative warm washcloth that has been soaked in warm water, no higher than 41 degrees Celsius for 3 to 5 minutes. We warm the heel of the infant because it increases the blood supply to that area. The heel puncture, or also called the heel stick, should be made on the sole of the foot because these are the safe areas for getting the blood specimen. Remember, do not use a previous puncture site. We use the safe areas to reduce the possibility of causing damage to the bone, nerves, or tendons. Once you've cleaned your hands and wear your gloves, we are now ready to start the collection. Before we do the heel puncture, clean the heel with alcohol pad or alcohol wetted cotton ball and let the skin air dry. We do this because any alcohol left on the skin may dilute the blood specimen. This can cause test results that are not normal. Stick the heel lancet on a slight angle, wipe away the first blood drop with a sterile goose pad, allow the second blood drop to form. We do this because the first blood drop likely to contain tissue fluids that will dilute the specimen. 
apply the blood drops only on one side of filter paper. To help the blood flow, apply a gentle pressure on the area surrounding the puncture site. Do not milk the heel or the puncture site. Remember, do not go back to partially fill the circles and add more drops of blood. The specimen do not accept for testing if oversaturated, layered, or clotted. Fill each circle one at a time until all five circles are completely filled. We do this because five completely filled blood spots gives enough blood to test for all the genetic disorders. And then, after care the newborn, after taking care of the infant, put the collection kit on a dry, clean, flat, and not absorbent surface. And for the last part, put all the used equipment on the garbage bin, like the gloves and the cotton balls, and perform again hand hygiene technique, and record all the abnormal findings in newborn. Now we're ready to send the kit to the laboratory specimen.